Welcome to my studio. Um, I'm Louise Freshman Brown. This is my studio. It's where I work. You gave me some questions and I'm going to start from the last questions and move up to the first questions. I think what's interesting is that during this pandemic, a lot of people have had a really hard time coping and I was supposed to do a workshop March 21st, 22nd. I've been doing it would be my 49th workshop in St. Augustine. And I, I started out with a two day workshop with a final critique on Sunday. The final Sunday, it was a Saturday, Sunday, and then the fi following Sunday we would do a critique. Well, it turned out that it's been eight weeks of Sunday critiques and getting together on Sundays and talking and it's been a real lifesaver for many of the artists who are from all over the country and what happened is that I decided to do my own workshop which I've never done before this was virtual and I started doing the same thing I set up these still lives for the group and then I started doing them start I think the second week I started doing them so I've, I've worked three or four of the weeks myself and the ones that I really got started with were the still lifes. I've been doing still lifes on and off my whole life. I sort of think of still life like Mozart. You can't do too many still lifes and you can't overhear Mozart. It's always new and fresh depending on how you approach it. So if um, these three still lifes were from when I began and this was from a still life that I set up for the participants. And I was working over some monotypes that I had done, which needed to have more, more information on them. So this is where I began. I can keep them dark. They can have mood, they can have atmosphere, and they can create isolation even though um, they're still life. I don't really have a preconceived idea of what I'm going to do. I just, uh, sometimes it's what's going on in the world. There's a lot going on right now. I did a series called Informal Conversations, which entailed many, many, many images of people trying to figure out what's going on. And I don't think we've figured out yet what's going on, but it's, it's a really interesting series which began with just doing figures and then the figures evolved into a conversation. Something surprising about my process. There are surprising things about my process and they happen from travel, they happen from communication, they happen from uh, just something triggering an idea. I did a whole process of landscapes at one time and that was just from driving to Miami and back and just landscape. I generally don't work from subject matter. Um, I make most of it up. I might take one object as a trigger. Could be something as simple as a hammer, but it's what's on the hammer that's really intrigues me the cover i did a whole wall series because when i travel in europe there are walls and i just photographed the walls this started many years ago and this is a reoccurring series that i do this is the underwater piece from the museum it's very large i think it's four feet by six feet and then i, I i'm showing you this one because it was like a sister piece for it so these two these two went together and this one, actually a former dean of UNF, has this someplace in the Midwest. But this is the piece, and I've been doing underwater series for three separate times. This was actually the second group, and the first one was, they were, they were four feet by five feet also. They were very large. And then I recently did a show called On Land and Water, which was also underwater, but very minimal color and much more abstract. That was at the airport two years ago, I think. So anyway, this is the still life that the museum has, and this is not a good print of it, but this is the still life that the museum has, and that's called Spider Warts. If you check out the ones I just showed you that are, are just black and white, the process is very similar, and I, I think my processes are a series of fractured or interrupted spaces, which works really well for me because my processes include realism to abstraction. My process is really basically going back and forth between nature and the human condition. 
when in doubt, I always go back to drawing. In fact, uh, these were the series of tulips, and then the tulips stayed with me. My studio that I brought back from UNF has so much, so many objects that I just decided I'll draw my own objects that my students drew. So that was my plan, not to do my own workshop, but to do draw the objects that I've been forcing these students to do for 38 years. I don't think it matters what my subject is. I think it's how I interpret it.